Hi, if you are into LinkedIn, definitely would have seen such kind of popping animation diagram to represent the architectural uh, part, how the flow gets in. And it's very eye-catchy. We couldn't stop from staring away from it. Uh, in this video, uh, we thought of showing a simplistic way how uh, anyone, uh, any new beginner can create similar architectural diagram in animation flow and then to share it off to the public media and impress the your company or your folks. Yeah, so that's what exactly you're going to see it here. Uh, so thanks to Ankit for the awesome work he's continuously doing in the LinkedIn. And I also took him the source uh, diagram from his uh, own post where he uh, shared the, the diagram, architecture diagram itself uh, without any animation. So in this video, we just try to animate like the same way how he animated in the flow in a very easy, simplistic way. So let me uh, delete this, the actual animation itself. So now we have the raw flow of the architectural diagram itself. Now let's just duplicate the slide and from here we are going to start the animation part. So first thing, let's start adding the shapes. Uh, so in Ankit one, he was using a rectangle, I believe. Uh, maybe we can just start with a simplistic uh, uh, circle uh, you can uh, you can go as creative you can and then in the shape format you should see the shape fill uh, you can choose yellow for bright or you can play with the colors as well then you also see something like shape effect uh, you can think around like uh, glow and uh, there are like multiple options provided by the powerpoint itself so now let's say i'm adding it uh, here over the diagram now we might need similar thing in multiple ways so since we already have the effect or the structure we needed you can use alt and then uh, just uh, replicate as much you need that's just uh, makes our life more easy so what i'm going to do here is let's just uh, add the circle uh, wherever uh, we might be interested in adding them so in this case, let me add it here and I will also add few more places around here and maybe here then uh, maybe from here and so this is going from here. And so it's going to navigate in this way, right? Okay, so now uh, what's going to happen is we need to start animating part. So let's duplicate the slide and position where you want to see it in the next position. So for example, here it's going to be here. We might want to represent it to be like traveled a little bit here. Uh, traveled a bit here and this one traveled to here and this one and traveled here and this one started traveling here and this one might be traveling here and this might be reaching some say midpoint okay so now uh, you can again uh, duplicate the slide here and let's say now you want to represent it as it got splitted into two so then uh, this might have traveled here to here this one might be like halfway or uh, let's say even uh, full way travel here this might have reached here this might have reached here and this might have coming here so it's up to us how you want to position it so this is just mainly to focus on how we can animate itself right so not going the exact replication of creation it's, it's going to be that so now you can just uh, one more duplicate slide and say I'm just going to uh, reposition it in the same way. So let's say if I'm going to travel it here, this is going to here, and this might, let's say, reaching the part itself. Yeah. So again, it's just for uh, illustration purpose altogether. So let's say it's going to come here, and let's say this one is reaching here, and this one, let's say, reaching here. Okay, so you got the context right. So now let's start animating. Maybe I'll also duplicate the slide without uh, 
no thing at the for the end slide so now you just go to uh, transitions and add the morphing part so all you need to do is go to each and every slide transitions morph transitions morph transitions morph and you should al already start seeing that your slides starts getting animated and to get a glimpse how it's going to look uh, is this is going to start moving in this way uh, and then further 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 so this gives you a rough idea like how it's going to look now you can start play with the timing so for example on the under the transitions you would see uh, the duration and when you it should get transition so you can change from on mouse click to after and say timer of 0 0.5 seconds right so same way you can change uh, on all the slides uh, 0.5 and uh, change it to after click on each and everything so so that the duration of each slide is going to be 0.5 and uh, it's going to automatically play for you uh, without you clicking the mouse each time so that's what uh, we are saying it to the slides of the powerpoint okay so it's just as simple as that and then so now we have this in place so now let's try to see that uh, see how it looks and you see the flow automatically getting it right so now we can uh, you can play with for the perfection right like where which one to go where so once you are comfort with the positioning it's just when i say perfection you're just going to play with moving the screens from uh, first position to second position dots you can also play with uh, different shapes different colors uh, so your creativity is up to you so you're going to get file and then there is going to be an option called export when you export uh, you can say uh, gif you export it as a gif format there should be an option for animated gif and let's say call it as demo and you see uh, seconds on each slide is like five seconds uh, one to six we are going to export it so now let's try to open the file uh, from the system so if i go with uh, open in the one so you see the uh, gif file it's it's playing and creating the fancy animation slide so this is how easy it is uh, just by adding a shape reposition like slide 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 and then you transition with the option called morph universe so hope you find this video useful so for more uh, videos stay tuned and follow eviday thank you